they feel. Let's say whatever, everything was lie. It's crazy to me how they would go so hard against a black person that they think is a scammer. But you have these, 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 these white police officers who unalived black children and made a million dollars and had a GoFundMe. And they did not bring that energy to these people that hate us. And no. that's what really no. upsets me about my people. And I tell this to every single person that has an issue with you, that try to get you shut down. I'm like, how dare y'all come at this black woman? And y'all don't even have the facts. And y'all, we, we also say that, we also say that black people, people, we love scamming. We talk about scamming all the time. Like, we, like since when do we have a problem with scamming? I, last time I checked, I want black people to scam. They scammed us. What's going on, y'all? Ground and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And this video right here is about the brick lady, man. We all know, unless you've been living under a rock, that she got caught scamming. She made the whole thing up. Well, not really made the whole thing up, but she definitely, uh, she told some lies. And, you know, she did a little bit of uh, embellishment within the story. And I want to start by saying that I hate this picture right here with a passion. I, I really hate it. It's like you, you thought she was looking fly. Like, I guess you thought she was like some hipster Whole Foods chick. You got the little piece of watermelon looking like a retard. I hate this picture, dog. Like, like this picture just seems like, uh, you know, like she's trying to like put some type of stereotype, like, like black American stereotype in there. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe she's making us feel like, hey, yeah, you, you see me. You see, I eat, I eat watermelon just like y'all. I eat watermelon just like the black Americans, y'all. I eat watermelon just like y'all. So, man, y'all can donate to me. I don't know what she was thinking when she decided, yeah, I want to use the goddamn watermelon picture, goddamn. The chicken and watermelon picture. That's what I want to use. I hate this picture, dog. But anyway, man, and then even worse with this whole thing, we've got tutors and toot uppers and bussy defense warriors, like consciously defending her. We're going to go ahead and dive into some of the things he said, some of the tweets he put out, and see what the hell is going on with this guy and why he won't shut the hell up and just deal with it. Let's go. Woman known as Brick Lady charged in Houston after being accused of making the whole thing up, raising 42,000. So nobody read the article though, huh? Consciously, when are you gonna apologize because that little heifer was scamming? I told you she was scamming, she was lying. When are you gonna apologize? Ain't nobody really worried about you apologizing, bro. I'm, I'm more so wondering where you gonna take these goddamn rainbow colors out your head. I mean, I know it's supposed to be the RGB flag or whatever the hell, but this shit look like more like rainbow colors and then the way you be kind of moving around flimsy and doing all these little weird dances and stuff. I just can't give it to you, dog. I just can't. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, and, and, and at the same time, I don't really care what consciously says. I just think that he's just such a, uh, it, this just shows a level of simpery and bus defense that is just, uh, it's, it's, it's pathetic in my opinion. You know, we know his, we know his, He's the kind of guy that has mostly like Destiny type fans. He's got a Destiny bunch, a Destiny crowd. You know, he's got uh, you know, he's got scorned women. He's got uh, dudes that wear dresses. He's got people that switching plays and transforming out here. And nobody really cares what these people think all the time. So let's get it. How's the apology better be? How's the support for her too? And before we even get into what the article proves and disproves, let's state the obvious. A lot of y'all don't have as much hope and legitimacy into the system or the legal process until it's about disproving support of a black woman. Then all of a sudden, y'all become legal advocates because just a couple of days ago, y'all was all about Martin Luther Majors being a victim of the system because his victim lied about the details in which how it These are different situations that pretty much come down to the same thing, a woman lying and exaggerating. Right here with Jonathan Majors, this white woman lied on him. He got took down. And then aren't you supposed to be like, I don't get you, dog. Aren't you supposed to be like the uh, the guy that, you know, that talks about racism and stuff like that and goes against it. But now you're sitting here like, hey, Jonathan Major got what he deserved. He got what he deserved. So what would happen if, you know, you know, your little Mexican wife or somebody, you know, she start housing, you know, some extra illegal migrants or something like that. She started taking them in. They decide they want to beat your ass or something like that just because she, cause she told them to or something like that. And, and next thing you know, you're getting shipped out to Mexico nobody knows where you are again what, what would you do then I, you know just like just think about it bro like but uh yeah man she lied brick lady lied and and i think with brick lady i think it's more so uh the way she spun a narrative she tried to make the narrative seem as if black black americans and black people in general are just uh dysfunctional and, un and unruly 
Cause she didn't specify what happened. She just said the black man, the black man, black man did it to me, black man. But it, this whole thing was just uh, you know non FBA people hanging around her, non FBA, not you know black immigrants. You got Africans, you got Jamaicans, you got Somali jokers. I mean I, that's that's African too, but still, yeah, this is all you know non FBA jokers. And just like I said earlier, the running theme, the common theme with both of those stories are. The woman lied. Jonathan Majors got took down unjustly, and this lady did something unjust. I don't get why you're even bringing Jonathan Majors into this thing. Stop being a bussy. Let's go. Happened. The article proves that she was assaulted, but that she did not give the correct details about how it happened. According to charging documents, Osman and Douglas were in an argument and Douglas reportedly swung his right hand while holding what appeared to be a plastic bottle and struck Osman in the face. Now, why is the headline written in the way to presume she made the whole thing up when the article itself states that she was assaulted, but that she allegedly lied about how she was assaulted? So for the people in the back, the reason why she's being charged with fraud is because law enforcement has said, no, you were assaulted, but you lying about how you said she was assaulted. Therefore, all the money you raised is fraud. Regardless of what she getting charged for as far as fraud and whatnot, I think this is just karma coming back to get her because she's already done this maybe several times. I think they say she's done this maybe twice before. She's got a little GoFundMe going. She's a known scammer. And y'all, you we got also, these we police say, officers we also say that black people, we love scamming. We talk about scamming all the time. Like, we, like since when do we have a problem with scamming? I, last time I checked, I want black people to scam. They scammed us. Bitch, ain't no worse. You ain't black American. I mean, yeah, you could say that they did y'all dirty over there in Africa, but y'all need to go and do something about that over there. But anyway, man, notice how she rushed. She, like, really ignored the lady. And this lady also was like a Cynthia G. Jean type of woman. I could tell by her interviewing and then some of the things that she said within the interview that let me know she's a Cynthia G. Jean at a little bit. But uh, this woman is actually literally coming back and saying that we as black people, we as black Americans, are we are enticed by the scamming lifestyle. We love scamming so much. As if that's not a certain sect of people. She really came at and, and put that little stereotype on us. She's really running around here like a, a caricature of what she thinks is black and is disrespectful as hell, dog. Oh, ugly self. Look out, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. This is lady something else, bro. She's got a rap sheet like she's a fucking homeless J out here in New York or somewhere. I don't know. And you're still sitting here defending her. This really makes your credibility shot. Like, your credibility was already shot when I seen you run around here dancing with them men, with them, uh, them T. Randy folks. You, you was dancing with, I think you was calling a, uh, a T. Randy woman or a T. Randy man. You were saying, yeah, that's a real man right there. That's a real man. And then, you know, you was in, there, in the yard twerking. And I was like, oh, yeah, this, this dude's lost. And then, you know, also the thing with you twerking with your homeboy and y'all running around here on the poles and stuff. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing masculine about it. I don't care what you're talking about. Healthy masculinity and, and all that kind of stuff. That's not healthy. That's bus masculinity. But yeah, I think this is just, uh, you know, why are we defending this lady? What do you, why are you even still defending this lady? And then once we go further into it, you sound even stupider. Let's get it. Which literally leaves me scratching my goddamn head now. The GoFundMe that is being called into question was about helping her recover and paying for medical bills because she was assaulted. Now, the article itself states that she was assaulted. So what a fraud come in. So y'all going to piss on my hand and tell me it's raining, huh? The article also states they were able to find video of the defendant and another person who they believe was the accused assaulter. They got in the car. They both got out the car. The defendant slapped the male who responded by slapping her back. He did have a water bottle on his hand, and we think that's what left a mark on her face, but it was mutual combat. That's what they said. So the fact that it said she hit the man first kills your whole argument. You run around here jumping in front of her trying to defend this lady. Also, this lady doesn't deserve a recovery fund for getting hit during a fight that she started, in my opinion. That's like me going to a boxing fight. I signed the contract, I signed up the fight, and now I lost. I got beat up real bad. Now I'm like, yeah, uh, yo, yeah, help help me recover from my injury, got now, please. Uh yeah, I I please help me for, recover from my injuries. And then I just I don't know. Just maybe I spread some type of weirdo propaganda or something like that that takes down some specific group. I don't know how I would do that. But uh yeah, I think it's it's the same thing. You know, it, it was mutual combat. You kind of said that you kind of waved the mutual combat off like they said something crazy right there. It was mutual combat because this lady, this is a big, burly, raspy voice, oaf, or oaf, rather, that's running around here hitting you. She got a Bosch BBL hitting you. So, you know, 
And they say that they say all your power comes from your uh, your your posterior chain. So if it's real, that's even worse. But it, you know, it's, it looks like a Bosch BBL. So yeah, man, she got the extra the extra power from her posterior chain. She's slapping on Joker. She's big already and burly. She got a masculine raspy voice and all that kind of stuff. She wearing ski masks and all this kind of stuff like a weirdo to the club. And when nobody's nobody's even talked about that. You know, you run around here always wanting to be the investigator and all this kind of stuff and really get to the bottom of things. Why don't you talk about why she was doing that before the whole thing? That's that's suspicious. Like Dr. Like Dr. Umar was like, don't you find it suspicious? Like, come on, dog. Like she she hit him first. He hit her back. She doesn't deserve that. And I, I, maybe that's why. And maybe they're saying like, oh yeah, you got now you started some shit and you run around here trying to make a uh, make a GoFundMe. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's what they're saying. Because I, I do agree. Like, you don't deserve a GoFundMe just because you started some shit and you got hit back. And now you feel like you deserve money. Why doesn't he deserve any money? Maybe he should get some money for uh, getting his name dragged through the mud currently. You didn't think about that because you're too busy being a bussy. You're too busy being a bussy. I'm sorry to be. I'm, I hope I'm not being too mean. But, I mean, you kind of are, though. But let's get it. So they charging this woman with fraud. Because she said she was hit by a brick, but they said she was hit by a water bottle, but they do acknowledge she was hit. They do acknowledge it was marks left on her face. So she can't get a GoFundMe to take care of what put what? And then this really the part that had me scratching my ass. TikToker provi TikTokers provide police information on Osman false claims past alleged scams. During the investigation, detectives said they received call from Daphne Sutton, a mental health advocate and blogger on TikTok, who believed Osman was conducting a scam because similar situation happened in Minneapolis in 2020. Daphne Sutton, the queen of accountability that literally made by 30, you know what I'm saying? It's exaggeration. I say probably like 10 to 15 different Twitter videos about her calling Houston law enforcement and saying, hey, Ro, yeah, she's scamming. Queen of accountability. If her silly ass didn't do nothing, I don't think she would have ran off to Jamaica. What do you think? I think she obviously knew that she was having something. She had she had ill intent. You know, she was scamming some folks. She you know she was running around here with ill intent. She wanted to go ahead and make up, you know, make up a silly narrative about black people. She figured she could do that easily. We're the easy scapegoat for anybody to do that, including tether ass people that come over here and try to make us look stupid. But that's what she thought. And then she also knew, like, man, I don't really deserve this money. I don't really need it, man. Maybe uh, because and then also let's look at let's look at the mark on her face. So the mark they said that bro hit her on the right side. He hit he hit her with his right hand. So that means her left side of her face would be knotted up but her right side of her face was the part that was swole so what are we really saying right now what are we really saying so you know you got down fake that he probably hit you and do it wasn't that bad but you know you're you're one of those dramatic types you're definitely one of those dramatic uh like like uh blm everybody need a chant now type of hoe and you uh you know you ran around here you know you over you over blew the story and now we got what we got we got six months of pain for black men and uh and hater rate and, and this whole thing is stupid this lady really sat up here and did a bold face lie about a brick we saw that the marks there was no type of marking that showed brick hit me there was no skin broke there was nothing of the sort that that bruise and it, it it was literally just like a cartoon lump where all the skin is the same color there was no discoloring there was nothing. I've, I've hit plenty of people, been hit plenty of times. I've seen plenty of fights. And I know that she didn't have no type of marking from something impacting her. It didn't look like that. And then I wonder what you're going to say. You're such a bus. You're such a uh, just a, I don't know. You're a super simp, a panderer that you're like, yeah, she was scared. She was scared. So, of course, of course, she should. Of course, she would say she got hit by a brick. She, she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to do. She's scared. That's why she's running off to Jamaica. She's scared. Ah, she's scared. And you, you flip your little uh, rainbow colored dreads. And she's scared. Ah, ah, ah. And then you go back in the, in the room and you start dancing on your pole and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I know you I know you ain't LGBT because you got a wife. She ain't the best looking, but she got a wife. But uh, and, and your kids. And shout out to you for being a good dad. But, but you're the kind of guy... I wouldn't want teaching my kids, dog. I wouldn't want you teaching my kids. You live in a clown world. You live in an alternative reality. You live in a skewed universe. I would not want you teaching my son. I would not want him seeing you with your rainbow colored dress. I would not want him seeing you on social media twerking and dancing and on polls. 
or uh, you know bringing up trans men and calling them real men and, and saying the same and you know inverse for women, I would not like it, bro. So uh, I don't know, man. Like I guess I guess you know you, you're not a bad person, but at the same time you are a uh, to me your mental is flawed, and that's all I'm gonna say about it, man. But let's get it. So according to law enforcement. It was a plastic water bottle that left this mark on her face. Not no saline, not no injections, not that she made it up. Like, it was a water bottle, apparently. Second thing, they claim in the article it was mutual combat. That's what the law enforcement said. But one individual had a object. The other one did not. And the individual that had an object was a man. But it's mutual combat. Interesting. So because he had a water bottle, that, that changed everything? You act like he had a, a pistol or something like that, or he had a knife or something like that, or he had a baseball bat or something like that. He had a water bottle. We literally all are sitting there drinking water bottles. If it was up to you, we'll be outlawed for, for drinking water. We'll be outlawed for carrying a water bottle. That doesn't make anything different. He just happened to have it in his hand. He hit her on the right side of the face, which we don't see any marks on that right side where you would get hit on that left side, rather, where you would have got hit if it was a right hand that hit you unless he just donkey kong style lgtv hitter because the guy's kind of lgtv sounding we're going to definitely do a video about him as well on the next video but yeah i, I don't know why you're making it such a big fuss because he had a water bottle <laughs> it's a water bottle <laughs> water bottle let's see these little tweets this little dude put up and see if that makes sense let's get it First tweet by Conscious Tutor Bussy Lee is due process of the law a trial and being presumed innocent until proven guilty is for the court of law. Most of arguing about court of public opinion, which operates differently. She'll get her day in court, but until she'll continue to be crucified in the court of public opinion, who cares? You definitely crucified black men in the court of public opinion because you don't know who had happened. You didn't know what happened. You don't know who did what. You just took her word for it. You were a court of a public opinion shout it, and you got a million followers because you pander. So now it's ultra court of public opinion. You don't care. Who cares what a dude with 200 followers says when a person like you has got a million and you're sitting there spreading all this clownery. And then at the same time, she ran. So, I mean, how are we going to get our, our day in court? She ran, bro. She ran. She's up to no good. She ran. Let's go. Next tweet is, it's interesting how trans women boxing against cis women is sensationalized by the same group of people that justify a mutual combat of a man and woman because excessive force, all that transphobic-ish, ain't brought up in this instance, huh? It's two different situations, bro. A, a, a man who's a loser at his own sport, he's a loser, and that's why he decided he's going to transition and, and try to go and do uh, women's boxing. He was losing, getting, getting put through the blender by men. He was losing in the track, getting put in the blender, getting dusted and, and rolled up by a man on the track. He was getting out wrestled by dudes on the, on the wrestling mat. He was getting out swam by men and now he boosted to, to women and now he's boosted to first place. Totally different situation. Totally different situation. I see what you tried to do there, but it just, it just don't hit, dog. Stop being a bussy. Last but not least, we got a tweet by Tariq Nasheed. It says, this is everything you need to know about this dude. I agree. He says, well, he not, not he says, but this is an old tweet of his. It says, man, why is Tariq Nasheed spreading a lies about Brett breaking? It was saying gender loving Africans when Europeans believe the world was flat. Tariq, why you teach a community? Why folks introduce home and with butt breaking camps? I mean, they pretty much did. We, it's pretty well known and documented that Rome was, uh, a haven for LGTV activities. Also, uh, bestiality was started with them folks as well. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and go out on a limb and say that it was very, 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 very prevalent within European and Caucasoid communities. And, uh, you know, you'd be uh, you'd be hard pressed to find it within African communities. We know it's not really a thing. Dog. Stop playing. Stop being a bussy, a bussy spear defender. That's what you really are doing. And you know what I really want to know about consciously? I'd like to know his his take on the illegal immigrants you know seeing that his wife is uh of the latina variety you know he probably can't say too much i i realized that you know like that's one of the things that happens when you date out you know you kind of got to be neutered in a way and, and acquiesce to certain points because you don't want to offend your uh your significant other but uh f all that man you got to be keeping it real out here in these streets but i want to know what he says is he running around here like a democrat shield like plies like Hey, hey, what? Y'all ain't y'all ain't doing the jobs anyway. 
y'all ain't doing the jobs anyway, so then we might as well have the illegal immigrants come in. The illegal immigrants are coming in and, and pushing black people out of their neighborhoods, and they don't deserve to be there. They don't deserve to be, you don't deserve to be pushed out your neighborhood because some illegal immigrants come in. But uh, that's something you probably would say. I want to really know your take on it. I'm definitely going to be looking around for what you say on that, if you've said anything at all about it, because you're kind of all in like the Democrat shield type of talking points. You know, you're talking about Palestine and all that kind of stuff, which, you know, is something that, you know, none of us are really getting into. But you are, you know, you're talking about Bussy Spear Chronicles, which is none of us are really getting into. But you are and all this kind of stuff. But, yeah, man, like Tariq and she said, this kind of tells you everything we need to know about this dude, man. He's uh, he's very Bussy adjacent. While he might not be Bussy in LGTV, he's very Bussy adjacent. And to me, that's very sus. That's extremely sus, dog. I don't care what anybody says. It's super duper sus. You're defending Bussy to a to a fault almost. But yeah, man, that's it right there, man. I'm going to go and uh, do the video on the, the guy who got accused by uh by Rhoda. And then, uh, you know, we'll see what the hell he's talking about. But yeah, if you watched it to this point, thanks for watching. I hope I wasn't too mean to consciously and he don't, you know, he don't try to get me or nothing like that. And uh, yeah, man, y'all have a good day and I'll see y'all next time.